Streamers have the flexibility to do whatever they want with their platform, whether it be for good, bad, or indifferent. And a lot of them use them to recreate a lot of the shows that they saw in their past as kids. One specific show remake that's been popping up recently has been the Catching a Predator show, and I don't think that they're doing it right per se. Oh yeah, hey, hey, don't cry. He trying to meet a 15 year old. Say fresh and fit, what's up? Say he trying to meet a 15 year old. And online trying to meet a 15 year old kid to fuck. Yeah. He's trying to put a grown man. Yes, Charleston, keep going, Charleston. He's trying to put a grown man. Now, this has got to be one of the worst jokes I've ever seen in my life. What's going on, everybody? Look, let's get into the meat and potatoes, because when you have Charleston White, Vitaly, and Myron from Fresh and Fit, the punchline to that joke can't be anything funny. Now, it's definitely not new for YouTubers to recreate, you know, television shows from their past. We see things like A&P, where they do Love is Blind or The Bachelor. We see Beta Squad recreating shows. Heck, Mr. Beast even did, like, the biggest Squid Games in the world, and I think to date has the most views on his channel. But there's some things that probably should stay dead, because they died for a reason. About seven years ago in 2007, To Catch a Predator aired its last episode. Now the show was a great successful show, don't get me wrong. It did a good service for a lot of people. It got people who were seeking out kids on the new age internet to get them up out of here. Like that's a good thing. Round of applause for that. However, Chris Hansen and his team found themselves being in trouble constantly because they kept tiptoeing on the line of what was justice, what was a true police investigation, what was trespassing on private property, and entertainment. And sometimes they did more harm than they did good. Specifically when they were providing sting operations with no police backing. I mean, those things could have led to a bunch of different bad issues or incidences that could have happened on the show set. But luckily, people walked out of there relatively unscathed. And by relatively unscathed, I mean there were situations in which things went a little bit too far, specifically with this Texas assistant DA. Did you know why To Catch a Predator with Chris Hansen was canceled? Despite getting more than 40 million views though, the show was canceled after they caught an assistant district attorney in the act. Lewis Conrad of Texas committed suicide suicide as police attempted to serve a search warrant for evidence against him talking to a supposed 13 year old boy rather than get taken into custody he decided to kill himself and the network shut the show down immediately and never made any major public announcements as to why now, i myself find it very strange that they tried to hide this though government cover-up now i don't know if it's a government cover-up literally they can't show things like that on the internet and hey it's great to get a predator off the faces of the earth you know but not necessarily by these means some people would say that there's an idea that you can rehabilitate take these people and they should also go through the justice system just like everybody else but the real problem here is we're not actually bringing justice to the situation we're creating an environment in which one we sensationalize the situation two desensitize people to it and three we're creating a path for harm for the people themselves and others that could be involved in these situations right here What is this? Now, in a situation like that, we could see how somebody could act probably irrational in that situation. They ran in without knowing if this guy had any sort of firearm on him. And in a different situation, all those people could have got sprayed down like a car going through a car wash. Now, the thing that I really don't even understand is there's a ton of different shows that these people could be participating in. Why is it to catch a predator? Literally, Myron and Sneeko have dedicated themselves to a complete show where they do nothing but catching a predator. We were talking about doing it on our own, but we don't want to like bite his operation yet. I, I, I was thinking, what do you guys think? Do you think that if, if me and Myron did the show, people would just say that we're biting Vitaly? No, absolutely not. It was perfect. It was good cop, bad cop. They're literally going away from whatever their main messages are for the sake of catching predators. And hey, like I said again, get predators up off the street. But I think that there's a way that we can go about doing this that involves a lot of safety. And it's hard to even make a claim like this to say, because people on the internet are going to say, well, you're defending predators. But I personally believe that these people have no interest in getting these people up off the street, going through potential rehabilitation processes, or serving any sort of justice. They see this is a form of entertainment to get them clicks, likes, views, and ultimately satisfy their humiliation kink for other people. Specifically when they get the knowledge from the police that they're not going to assist them in the way that they're going about operating and getting these predators because this is not lawful. People still have constitutional rights and things like that. They're basically like Death Sergeant has said, don't bring him in. There's nothing that the DA is going to do now. Just write it up, file it up, and that's all we can do now. LA is not going to prosecute pedophiles. We got to just keep bringing a light to it because unfortunately, no fault of theirs. Hold They've on a done second. Everything they can for us, mm -hmm. but it's the DAs in California that are refusing to prosecute pedophiles. This, Police are doing everything they can. This is 
why no more fucking comps. I'm bringing all the fucking tools in the world tomorrow. I'm bringing a chainsaw. I'm bringing a fucking pepper spray. And we don't know the specifics as to why the DA won't be prosecuting these things. Probably because they're not done through the proper legal channels. Like these are just guys running around bringing chainsaws and pepper sprays to situations where they have no training, where anything can go wrong. And they don't want to be a part of a situation where this vigilante was going around doing this good deed for the community and an event went wrong and the DA was backing it the whole time. I'm pretty sure that's why they don't want their names attached to this, but we'll never know. But if you know that to be true, then why go this route that we're going in these situations. You know that they're not gonna back you. At this point, all you're literally doing is satisfying the needs that you have. And that need is for entertainment. That need is to get clicks, likes, get people's eyes on your content because you are an attention whore. If you wanna make change, become a policy maker or become some sort of police officer or something of that nature. The way that you're doing this is not doing anything but satisfying, honestly, the kinks that some of these predators even have. We know that some of these people get off on attention themselves. Why would you give them a platform in which they could be on to satisfy their cravings and their needs. And then you're only giving this to an audience that may look to recreate this later down the line, which could then ultimately cause harm for these people. I think it's a very disrespectful slap in the face to those that do these things legitimately. People dedicate their lives to law enforcement. People dedicate their lives to education. People dedicate their lives to professionalism. And to see an entertainer walk into this field and do it in an unprofessional way, only to invoke the masses to do it in the same exact way is very very, very nasty to me. Again, I want predators off the street myself, but I think there's definitely a better, safer way to go about doing these things than having Vitaly or Jadeon go around shaving people's heads. I don't know. That just seems stupid as fuck.